Good morning, people. Um, so I've been out this morning testing these, the Telesyn ND filters, um, and I've just got back. I've seen the footage. Uh, I want to show the footage to you now, uh, and then I'll let you decide what you think. We tested this with sort of ProTune settings on with HyperSmooth on, which is important because I think that makes a big difference because most of us using these new GoPros will be using HyperSmooth. So let's go over to the park. Um, we'll let those videos play and then we'll meet back here and we can discuss what we think. Now I'll shoot a quick one with, with no ND filter on and you guys can see what that looks like and then we'll shoot a couple with ND filters on. So HyperSmooth with Boost is on and uh, we'll see how that goes now. So, I mean, this is unusable. So 25 frames per second, shooting at 1 50th um, and I mean, this is completely blown out. Can't use this. Unusable. Don't ever do this. So this is Telesyn in the 8 now, on top of that. We're starting to get there, it's still a bit blown out in the face over here, which you can see. And the sky is still looking pretty juicy actually, but still blown out in this bottom region over here. Right. Time for the ND16. Let's put that on. Ooh. There we go. Okay. ND16 on the filter. Great. That looks much better. So you can see really blue skies looks great. My skin tones look good. Nothing really blown out too much. Hyper smooth. Still working really well. Um, not too dark with the sun on my back, but looks good. Um, and pretty good. See, look how blue the sky is. Not blown out in the bottom section. The sun obviously is. This is probably the filter that I would use um, in these conditions. 32. So, way, I mean, way darker than previously. ND32, let's go. Oof, oof. This looks great. This looks really good. Hyper smooth still on, beautiful blue skies in front of us, everything really well exposed. Pretty dark actually in the shadows. Um, Hyper smooth still working really well. If I show you guys. Cool. Well, there we go. That's an ND32. So hopefully you guys found that useful. That was the test for the GoPro Hero 9 and the Telesyn ND filters. Now, it's not a super scientific test, it's just the GoPro with the filters with HyperSmooth on, which is probably what all of you want to know. Um, if you want to know if it works without HyperSmooth, it obviously does because I use this all the time for all of my drone flights. So. That's really all I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys can tell which filters work best. Um, and you're probably looking at, you know, the Polar Pro, etc. These are significantly cheaper than those and I would highly recommend. So anyways, I'll leave links in the description down if you guys want to pick these up. Um, and yeah, have a fantastic day and potentially consider subscribing. I make videos about my process and my learning process through film and FPV. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, consider subscribing. And if not, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye. The idea of these indie filters is that we want to have our shutter speed uh, basically double, oh sorry, half, no. <laughs> What are you talking about? What are you talking about? 